Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Friday, April the 20th, 2012 with a market forecast. This is the NASDAQ Composite Index. This is the home of many of the growth leaders, very important index for us to watch. Uh, we're down about a quarter of a percent today on Friday. And uh, what's really interesting about the NASDAQ is the last couple of days we have seen some uh, above average volume, some heavy volume, three down days in a row trying to find support here at the 50-day moving average and closing below it. We did not get support at the 50-day today, an important sign that maybe the larger investors are giving up uh, 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 on, on this rally here. Uh, we'd love to see uh, the indexes come down, tag the line, and then come back up off of that line on good volume. Uh, we're seeing just the opposite. We get down towards the line, we waffle around a little bit, and now we're seeing some distribution as it closes underneath uh, this 50-day moving average for the second day in a row. This could be a sign that the markets uh, uh, have exhausted themselves and may roll over even further. Um, of course, uh, uh, you know, many things uh, can happen in, in the stock market. Um, I believe they're heavily manipulated. Uh, so, um, but to the chart is uh, showing us that there is trouble uh, with the growth stocks. And when we go to a weekly chart, we can see that we have closed now below the 10-week moving average, this blue line. And this is the first time that has happened since the breakout back in late December. So another key sign. And we've had two um, uh, uh, distribution weeks where, where uh, the market has fallen on increasing volume. So this is our third down week in a row, only off about a third of a percent for the entire week. So a tight close here, but still underneath the 10-week moving average. You would ex have expected the large investors to keep this market propped up, keep it psychologically above the 10-week line if they felt it was going to go higher. So uh, I'm seeing a little bit of dissension in the NASDAQ. And we look at the QQQ. This is the NASDAQ 100, a bit more concentrated on the growth stocks. Um, we do have support here at the 50-day moving average, but we do have some big, big distribution going on here. Um, so, uh, you know, getting support down here, but still uh, some heavy, heavy volume down days. So um, uh, that's not very uh, settling right there to see, but I do like the support there. If we start breaking that support on volume, uh, we could be headed lower. So this is worth keeping a close eye on. And looking at the SPY, this is the S&P 500 uh, ETF. We can see that we are getting support here at the 50-day moving average here on this index of, of larger cap stocks. Uh, we did have a major distribution day here on Thursday, but uh, nonetheless getting uh, some support down here at the 50. Should that break on increasing volume, uh, we could be headed lower. Now this is a chart for Apple, of course, a mega, mega cap growth leader, um, the, the leader of the market. And um, Apple has gotten into some trouble over the last week. Uh, we had uh, hit a peak of 644 and came down very quickly uh, within four or five sessions and uh, got down here uh, at the 10-week line. This is the 50-day moving average, which corresponds. Actually, if you look at a weekly chart, it got right down to the 10-week and then bounced up on good volume, uh, which is what we want to see. But now we've fallen back the last three sessions. And today was a distribution day. Uh, that fall came on above average and increasing volume. We are back down here at the 50-day moving average. Uh, so far holding above it, but a lot of selling going on. Lots of shares trading hands here. Uh, lots of movement in Apple. Uh, but uh, uh, when you add the uh, up and down volume, you're going to get a negative result here. So uh, the momentum on Apple is down now. Uh, you can see that in the MACD. MACD has fallen apart here, crashing down. You can also see it down here on the stochastics. You can also see it here on this green line. This is on balance volume. When you add up all the volume to the upside, all the volume to the downside, you come up with either a positive or negative number, and it can kind of track the money flows in and out. Money has been flowing out of Apple since uh, about uh, you know April 10th. So um, Apple not looking good here, uh, but so far it is holding. There are uh, you know large investors trying to hold it above the 50-day moving average, knowing that that is a psychological level. But should Apple slice through that on some big volume, uh, this market and Apple could be headed lower. Next stop, of course, would be down here at about the $500 level at the 100-day moving average. Let's hope that doesn't happen. I wanted to show you Chipotle Mexican Grill, a leading uh, growth retail restaurant stock here, slicing through its 21-day moving average on huge volume, the most volume we've seen in a long time. 
Um, not looking good here, down 2.67%. And uh, slicing this and closing below it, this red line, the 21-day moving average, first time that it's closed below that since mid-December when a lot of stocks broke out and started running. So Chipotle probably headed much lower, maybe down here to the 50-day moving average at about the 405 level. So the markets are in a correction. Um, that means that um, there's been a lot of distribution, which is institutional selling. And um, we spotted this uh, weeks ago and started to get to the sidelines. Um, it seems to be uh, gaining a little bit of momentum here to the downside. This is no time to be adding new purchases, in my opinion. Uh, it's time to uh, basically uh, batten the hatches, take some profits off the table on your weaker acting stocks. And uh, let's see how far this plays out. Nobody knows how low these markets can go on a correction, so it's best to just uh, uh, keep the powder dry and uh, and wait for a convincing follow-through day, which will sing signal in a, a, um, a continuation of the uptrend in the markets uh, if and when that happens. So uh, I'll be doing a couple of reports next week. Next week will be a very important week, very pivotal week. So uh, have a great weekend, everybody, and thanks for listening.